together for companionship, for kicks, and to be somebody where they seem to be nobody. They also band together for safety, for here blind pride and frustration can and do lead to violence. The story of a unique program of the Chicago YMCA to deal with this problem, and of this boy who got in trouble with a gun, of this boy who got shot in the leg, and of this man, one boy to make the biggest decision of his life. This man's one aim, to keep it cool. This is our story as the Prudential Insurance Company of America presents the 20th century. Chicago, throbbing, dynamic city, society. Chicago, another part of the city, another society, a contrast not unique to Chicago. It is a national problem of poor housing, few job opportunities, school dropout. Two worlds in one, and George Dryden works in both. Little All-America halfback at Wheaton College, Illinois, Bachelor of Arts, Dryden is a supervisor of YMCA detached workers. He works in the violence from destroying lives. That's what he means by keeping it cool. The detached worker program of the Chicago YMCA works with youths of all hanging out on street corners in various sections of the city. These youths grow up under the same conditions. Poverty walls them out of the society most Americans know. Seeking to be someone, anyone, some get into the people in the neighborhood know that workers like Hank Bach, an Indiana University athlete, are trying to lead these youths toward goals they all desire, and which few know how to reach. Which guys were they? Punks, 10, 11 years old. Lippy is all hell. I mean, uh, when I say lippy, this is not only the males, this is also the females. Well, we'll talk to them. I'll see them tomorrow, in fact, okay, if that's the same the guys there. We'll do, yeah. Okay, thank you, Larry. The detached worker hangs with the group, almost one of them. He slowly develops a program of activities, outings, sports events. He also develops a staff, field assistants, consultants chosen from group leaders. They are paid 10 to $30 a month through a Ford Foundation grant, but the pay is secondary to their pleasure in having legitimate responsibility, the experience of helping your own group stay. This is an all ending a tournament run by workers, consultants, and assistants. Elsewhere, where there is no such program, youth gangs fight and rumble for their status in the streets. In Chicago, the Y also run their own newspaper, filling it with items from the neighborhoods. The program runs school tutoring projects, staffed by undergraduate volunteers from Chicago's colleges, and a placement service for boys who convince they're ready to move from aimless hanging out to a regular job. This smoothly run softball tournament is just a sample of a dramatic rediscovery that attached workers have made. Youth in poverty and con and do function legitimately when the positive challenge is offered. Come here, brother. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, okay, little cool breeze. You ain't got no chest, honey. But you all right. Look here, look here. Hey, Jesse. The detached worker speaks to their own language, in their own street. George Dryden must shed his four years of college, slip into the street talk, reach the group from the inside, not from the outside in. Dryden listening, looking for signs of conflict. Stopping trouble is the program's first main goal. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Robert, what's to it? You played a good ball Tom game. Tom Lecture, another college graduate athlete, is a new detached worker, learning from George. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going I'm to break on back over to the Y. I'm going to see you guys later on. Then you cats keep things up tight. Don't, don't, don't stop. Butch, you keep things quiet, too. 
Give me a cigarette, brother, before you get knocked down. Yeah, young dude got a little hot. Really wrapped up when he get a taste. Huh? Really wrapped when he get a taste. Oh. Yeah. He's all right. He's all right. Everything's gonna be all right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break on down this way. I'll see you guys later, okay? You guys be cool now, huh? is not all right, not so cool. In the night, in front of this Y, after a fight, a boy named Richard was shot in the leg. A boy named Ronald fired the gun. And this boy, Richard, who demands satisfaction. Yep, he told me about shooting again, so if I see him first, I'm gonna shoot him. Uh -huh. The police say I'm gonna busy, but if I see him first, I'm gonna shoot him. They put him in jail, that's what I want. But if I see him walking the street and I got a gun, I'm gonna shoot him. Where do you think uh, Ronald went? It is two days later. A 20th century camera is following George Dryden when this happened. Hey, there's, there's, uh, there's old Richard. Richard Johnson. See him? See him limping down there? Yeah, Ronald's coming. Uh, the best thing, are those guys talking yet? They're not talking to each other at all? What's that? Ah, uh, Richard Johnson won the Ronald shot. Ah, uh, damn. This, this, uh, we get hey, 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 come here. Come here. Hey, Ronald, come here. Come here. I know you were looking at something. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I see him too. Now, come on, come on, come on. This hey. is Ronald who fired the gun. You know what we ought to do? Uh, uh, hey, he's trying to get in on the no. picture. Let's, let's walk on down this way. Come here. Come here. Who wants in there with Come here. Come here. Come here, Ronald. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, what you doing? I don't do nothing. Oh. Uh, this thing probably what we should do. You got something for another one. Huh? You got something for another one. Who? Hey. Wait a minute. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let me, you let me handle this. Here? Now, now wait a minute. Here? Right. He ain't gonna do nothing, right? Now, hey, hey, Mac, you don't do a thing. You don't do nothing either, here? You don't do a thing. Samson, you don't let me handle this situation. Ain't nothing, nothing gonna go down. Ain't nothing. Uh, we handle the situation, brother. No, we, I know, we know, we know what's going on. We handle something. We we'll handle everything, Richard. We we'll handle everything. This is Richard, the boy who was shot. I know what. We'll handle it, Richard. I'm the one that called man in the first place. So there's no need starting anything here. Okay. okay. Nothing wrong, brother. It's going to be all right. I'm gonna shoot you too. No, man. I, I, how are you living? I'm gonna shoot you too. Hey, how's your nose? That's all right. I know if you pulled it down just a game. I'm gonna let her shoot you now. Uh, there's no, see, the first place, there's no need to talk this. You know that. I'm just telling the truth. Uh, yeah, but there's no need to talk that talk. Because let me tell you, one thing is, you guys are all young. I can go home and get mad. No, no, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Round? No, hold No, uh-uh. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. This all is all good. I mean, You're, I don't even know what boy man yeah, walk up and shoot me. All right, but still, still the thing was that it's more to just a shooting than, than that took place. See, first of all, first of all, there's this stuff around boy hey, section, I'm right? First of all. Let me, let me, I'll straighten this stuff out with you later, okay? Yeah, I want to know man shot me though, right, You know, he's having a conversation with all these kids around here. Yeah, now, you know that. Take him over there. I'll straighten out with him later. Nothing, huh? Richard, I'm going to be straight with you, brother. I'm going to be straight with you. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you before you get mad, though. I always get mad first. They don't tell me they're gonna shoot me, Jack, get a bullet from me, though. Mean. See, think, think. But 
Jim Oldham is the detached worker up tight with Ronald's group. He, too, is a college graduate. He and Dryden... Ronald to turn himself into the police. Pico is Ronald's brother. Pico, as your brother, as, as what, what do you think? Now you're his brother. What do you think about the situation? Yeah, I think that would be all right. Yeah. That's the that's safest way out, you know. Because if they that's catch the best. him, if they catch that's him, the you're going to get the tan. You're going to get what they can put on you, everything they can put on you. But if you go down there on your own accord, I'll just tell them that you told me to take that you asked me to bring you down there. That meant that you wanted to turn yourself in. I mean, it's your decision. Nobody can tell you what to do. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you to make up your mind. But if you're going to continue to run, if you, if you don't make it to mind, run it. And every time you look around, you see a little blue car. You're going to be running. And I know you're tired of hiding and running now. You know what the best thing to do? If you wanted to, uh, you have Jim take you down there late. Like late Sunday uh, night or something like that. Late Sunday night. And you go to court the next day. You go to court the next day. All this right. is about the only suggestion I could put for him. All right. Go down to Sunday night, but I ain't gonna make it. I'm gonna do that right now. Well, how late Sunday night? I don't care. Any time. Any time after what? I don't care. I'm going down there. Late, just late, long as late. I ain't going. You go down there about 10, 11, 12. All right. About you, 10 o'clock. You know what I would suggest you? Yeah. Let Ronald find you. Find me tomorrow. By oh. 10 o'clock tomorrow night. I don't want to know where you are tonight. Or, or tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow morning. Yeah. I just, just. There's a term on the street, shoot someone through the grease. It means to con, to deceive. On Sunday night, Ronald fails to show as he shoots through the grease. Oldham and Dryden are patient. They know the unrealistic hopes of escape of a boy like this. They also know that the street, no matter what outsiders may think, is freedom. Sweet when you have little else. Monday morning, the only thing to do is to keep looking. Monday night, if Dryden can't find Ronald soon, he the police. Hey, only a lot of walking on the street will bring an answer. One last place, if we don't... Are you on this way? Yeah. Well, you walk somebody to death, man. You walk too fast. Uh, I ain't even pushing, just... In the night, they find out why Ronald may have shot them through the grease. His group is not really convinced. Even if Ronald wants to turn himself in, he would lose face if his group... ...the little society does not accept the action. Ronald has said he will turn himself in. Dryden and Oldham must gain the approval of the group for Ronald's action. I had when he was drunk. Who was? Who, who was? Ronald. Drunk? Uh, come here, Jack. What was that you said last name? Ronald. Yeah, what are you going to do, shoot me through the grease? No, he said, uh, there. You going to give himself up? Yeah. He's going to give himself up to that. Did you, you think he was going to do it? Uh -huh. I didn't think he would. Hey, hey. What he said is that he wouldn't. I know he wouldn't. Oh, I mean, if, if the fella is interested in turning himself in, then, then you guys, uh, all you fellas, know, know uh, the main reason. You think Ryan won't turn himself in? Well, we don't know. You don't think so? He ain't. He said he was. He said he said last night he was. <laughs> well, I, I know, I know. It's it's it's, it, uh, it's questionable, but uh, I have a I have, I have a strong hunch that he's going to. If I if I wanted to trick on Ronald, I could have tricked on him yesterday. I could have had him picked up all day yesterday. There was no there was no nothing to keep me from tricking on him. I'm out here to help him, and this is a cold cold world. You don't get too many people to help you, somebody. I'm going I'm to give you my phone number. Now, if you guys don't, if, if they catch him before you guys call me and I get him, then there's nothing I can do for him. But if you call me, then before they catch him and let me get him, then we may be able to, I may be able to help him. I don't know how much help it's going to be now because 
we supposed to we supposed to be by this time. Maybe Ryle needs some encouragement. Maybe that's why he got got a little mellow. Because he, he had to make up his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Try to help him make up his mind. Yeah. Well you guys going with what you guys you want us to walk around there with you or you gonna walk around and see if you find Come on, y'all. You want us to go or what? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay. I think I think I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you point blank. I think it's the right step. What do you think, Samson? Huh? I don't know. They got you in a sweat, huh, brother? I know I just feel. Then early Tuesday morning, George Dryden finds Ronald waiting on the street in his path. Come here. Come on. Huh? Wait a minute. Come on. Come on. How you feeling? All right. Huh? All right. You're tired, aren't you, Ron? No, I ain't tired. You're a little high. No, I've been what? asleep all day. Right. I just told him to say that. What, what, what's, what's been the problem, Ron? Just, just ain't, just ain't feel like going to jail no jail in this house, I Jack. I be doing time in jail. Everybody's got this hot ass son. Uh huh. I must go and get it over with shoes, man. Watch him. The thing is, I want you to make your, make up your own mind on it, Ronald. Get it, Dad. I give it up, Dad. Uh, would you give me four area youth officers, please? Uh, it's about uh, a shooting, please. Well, I. I don't want, I, I want the youth girl car to come. I don't want the uniform man to come. Ronald with worker Jim Oldham, a YMCA office. And could you get it over right? Okay. Oldham, right? Oh, uh, he's about 15 years old. 16. Right. Okay. The address, well, the main entrance is on Arlington. It's, uh, the building's on kids in Arlington. And the main entrance is on Arlington. Okay, thank you. Has been satisfied. Society will now try to rehabilitate a boy who was blamed for a violent act. Ron is just one of many in the day's work for the detached workers in the streets of Chicago. And in Chicago is an all busy, complicated complexes called cities, until the many causes contributing to individual and youth conflicts are met head on. A handful of YMCA detached workers and workers from other agencies do their best to. Keep it cool. Okay, boys, want to stand for the squad car so nobody gets hurt after that? Get back off that squad Are you going to be over there, George? No, I think I'm going to stay here, officer. Right, right. I'll see you later, okay? Right. Very good, George. Okay. Round? Okay? Good enough.
Next week at this time, the Prudential will present the man of action, Lord Louis Mountbatten, commando leader, supreme commander, viceroy on the 20th century. <laughs>